The calendar is one of Canvas's best features, especially for students and helping them stay organized with all of their classes and the assignments for those classes. So to get to the calendar, you simply click the calendar icon and your calendar will load. Now, I don't know how many calendars you'll have um, at the beginning of your process, but eventually you'll have a calendar for every course you're connected to. So not just the courses you're teaching, but any courses you're connected to, um, maybe as a parent or as um, a teacher or a co-teacher or an instructional assistant, you could have all those calendars here. It is important to note I think it's 10. Um, only so many of those calendars can show over here at one time. So you might have to turn some off in order to, to view others. I'm thinking um, specifically like a special ed teacher who teaches two different grade levels and wants every teacher one of her kids are in to show up on the calendar. It's not going to show all of them at once. For most teachers, um, your amount of calendars will show all at once. Okay, so one thing to know is to turn, oh, and I also want to point out that you have a personal calendar as well. So you could put things on your calendar that no one else is going to be able to see. Okay, so to turn a calendar on and off, you simply click the box and it will add it to your view over here. You could turn them all off or you can, um, you know, just turn a couple on. So those are my two courses. This is the monthly view this will get overwhelming fast maybe not for you the teacher but for your students it's going to get overwhelming fast it is just a lot and this is just two courses remember your students going to have more than two so one thing you might do um, either for yourself but specifically to show your students is to show them there are options up here um, it's going to default to month but they can choose a weekly view and now it's a little bit more manageable. You've got your weeks up here and then your courses fill in there. You could do a, an agenda fill where it's simply going to list. Here's our date again. So here's a Monday, here's a Tuesday. That just seems a little bit more manageable. Um, the agenda view is my favorite. And I can just look at what am I doing today? What is due today? And it's, it just seems a little less overwhelming. Okay, so again, you've got a personal calendar, all the calendars you're connected to. To turn on a calendar, you click the box so that it's colored. So any box that's not colored is not showing up inside this calendar.